Welcome folks! Today we're bringing you the much anticipated video that shows you how to put your tarps on the Cricut hammock stand. So Cal has a Cricut tarp extension there. It has two stainless steel carabiners on the ends of the rope. And it is as easy as looping that cordage around each leg of the Cricut stand and clipping it in with the carabiner. Now we're going to show you two different ways to do this today. This way is the traditional way where you clip the carabiner right onto the cordage and your tarp extension pole sits about there on the legs. The next way that Cal is about to show you is if you want to bring your tarp as high as possible on the cricket stand. So it takes maybe a little more finagling but he's going to bring those clips all the way around and end up clipping them to each other. Doing this kind of chokes up that cordage and brings the tarp extension pole even higher on the legs. And we'll do it the same way on both sides, of course, so that our tarp is even all the way across the top. So clipping those carabiners together, and now the tarp extension poles are installed on both sides. Now what Cal is explaining here is the placement for your four corner guy lines. We want you to resist the urge to bring them straight out in front or in back of the cricket stand, but rather it's important to guy out those corners more to the side of the cricket hammock stand. And what that does is it keeps that tarp extension pole from flopping around. It's going to be much more stable if you guy out the lines to the side rather than the front or back. So we're going to go ahead and install all four of those corner stakes into the ground first before we set up our tarp. Right, it's time to bring out the tarp. This is a beautiful 12 foot tarp from Walhalla Hammocks and Outdoors. You can see it comes with a snake skin, which makes setup much, much easier on these extremely windy Wyoming days that we are facing this time of year. So you simply slide the loop of the tarp over the end of the tarp extension pole first. Then you bring those two guy lines on that side and loop those over on top of the tarp loop. And of course we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Tarp loops on first, then the loops of the guy lines come up next. Now when Cal gets the second side looped on, he notices that the first tarp extension pole is hanging back at a completely different angle than the second one. So he's going to go loosen up those guy lines a little bit, split the difference in the slack, and now he can have both tarp extension poles sticking out at about the same angle. A lot of tarp guy lines will adjust um, on the ground end of the line. Cal is a tinkerer and a fiddler, and so he made his own guy lines with Prusik knots that he can adjust right there close to the tarp extension. Now we've removed the snake skin, which we are again so glad we had because you can see how windy it was this day. And it's time to guy out the rest of the tarp. particular tarp came with two internal pole mods. We like them, but they are not necessary for tarping the Cricut stand. So Cal is installing them underneath the tarp and over the Cricut stand. They have little pockets that they slide into. And then these poles have two anti-spreader cords that help keep it stable. Once that's done, it's time to hook up the hammock. 
Honestly, on a less windy day, we would have hooked the hammock up first. It's a little bit easier, but we didn't want it to turn into a parachute in the wind. Now that that's hooked up, we're going to sit slowly as per usual. Make sure everything's holding, bounce around a little bit, check the stability. And you can call that done if you'd like, or you can close up the tarp a little bit more. final step is to go check all your guy lines, tighten them up and secure them if needed, and then you get to go inside and enjoy your nice cozy hangout during a long cold winter. Thanks for watching everyone! Make sure to let us know what other tutorials you'd like to see with our hammock stands. You can leave a comment or DM us through our social media channels, or of course email us through our website, yobogear.com. Thanks, and see you next time.